Welcome to another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. I guess this would be a new product segment or a restoration blog. You know, when I first uh, got this building, got over 25 years ago, I put in these sodium lights because these were the most efficient lights you could find. They're fantastic. When you turned them on, they used a lot of energy initially, but once they were on, supposedly they used less or something like that. Well, a lot's happened in 25 years, and uh, this is the latest thing. I know it looks like something from Alien or Blade Runner, but this is actually a light that's 55% more, 55 more efficient than this old sodium light. I have no idea how it works. All I know is it's made in America, and that's why I like it. And that's why we put some up here uh, in the garage. In fact, that's what we're using right now to light this. So let's meet uh, Paul Yark. Come on in. Alas, Paul Yark. Nice to meet you, Jay. All right. Now, Flectronic is the name of the company. Uh, I'm not familiar with the company, but I understand you guys do a lot of... Uh, Automobile dashboards, high-end cars, European as well as American? Actually, what we do is we do um, high complexity, high volume, uh, engineering, design, manufacturing, supply chain. We're known as a supply chain transformation company, and we work with companies, a lot of the big name uh, OEMs that you know about, right. and we transform their entire supply chain end to end. Okay. I imagine, it sounds to me like, especially in an automobile application, you want light with not a lot of heat, correct? Correct. And that's really what this does. Correct. Okay. Because now this was sort of unconventional when I got it. This was 25 years ago. This was the most the efficient art. way. State of the art. Yeah, the sodium lights. Was I right? They use a lot of, to turn, if you turn them on and turn them off, you waste energy. But if you leave them on for eight hours, they tend to settle down and use less electricity. Is that correct? They do. But all the time this is on, it's using... Uh, roughly 55% more than the right. new version. Now, this doesn't look like, this looks like a drone that would be flying over Afghanistan. It, it does. doesn't look like a light to me. It does. What do we have? Is this, this appears to be a radiator, is that what that is? It's a cooler. Okay. And what that does is that dissipates heat. There's fluid that flows through the radiator okay. and dissipates all the heat that is produced by the digital LED um, being turned on. Now, I always thought LEDs did not make much heat. They don't make much heat, but the thing is, when you're in an environment, there are three things mm -hmm. you want to accomplish with LED. You want to cut your energy. You want to cut your energy substantially mm -hmm. by 55 percent or so, if you can. Second thing you want to do is you want to shut down your maintenance bill so that people don't have to get up on scaffolding and high ladders and move things around all the time. Okay. And then thirdly, you want to cut BTUs so that you don't inhibit or impair your HVAC system and add more cost to your overall energy system. Okay, so there's no bulbs to change here. No that? bulbs to change. Okay, all right. You plug it in and that thing there actually has a lifespan of around 200,000 working hours. Okay. So it'll last a long time at minimal maintenance. And where is the actual, the actual light is? Right here, all the LEDs are right here. Oh, look here. at that, okay, wow, those are really tiny. How much brighter is this than that? This particular light is 60,000 lumens this light here is about 30,000 lumens, Okay. so it's about double. Okay, I have no idea what a lumen is, but this is twice as many as that. Yes. All right. What, we, what we did is we, to be able to make it a good working environment here, we stepped down the sort of output, light output that the right. fixture is giving. These things actually, uh, in your garage, those are about 45,000, this one's 60,000. Okay. We actually can crank it up to 90,000 lumens. So if you want to do uh, very detailed work, you'd have a high ceiling, 40 right. feet up to 90 feet, we can provide the lighting to be able to accommodate that. Okay, very cool. How about if I turn it on so you can really get a sense right, for it? go ahead. So you see, um, that is pretty intense light it output. Is. Yeah. Uh, like I said, 60,000 lumens and... And it comes on instantly, whereas this one takes a good 10 minutes to reach it comes on a little bit, and then after 10 minutes, you're, you're so Right, there. it has to warm up. Right. The interesting thing about this is, so let's say the garage is vacant. You can put sensors on these things, and you can do several things. You can have a sensor that understands how much daylight you have coming in, and you can dim it down just based upon the amount of daylight and I balance see. your light environment. Okay. Or if there's no one in here, you can use zonal sensors or occupancy uh, versions of those. Uh, sorry, the zonal occupancy sensors and that can constrain the amount of light you're, you're using, the amount of energy you're using. So it's like a motion thing. detector. Right? Yeah, a motion detector, same thing. And do these ever get warm? No, they don't. You can always walk up to it, you can touch it, and okay. you won't feel anything. So any factories that convert to this, do they get a bit of a discount from the 
Does the government give anything back on That's that? That's a great it? question. Uh, here in the state of California, there are rebate programs. Every utility service territory, they have a very specific rebate program. Right. So here, we're in Southern California Edison uh, territory, very specific to them. We're from Northern California. We have a PG&E uh, okay. rebate. Right. Uh, it varies on lots of different locations. Let me ask you a question. I notice this is getting very hot. Let me unplug it. Now, I thought with LEDs, they didn't produce any heat yet. This is cool, yet this surface is really hot. Why is that? That's a great question. Actually, there's, there's no real heat being generated by the output of the light right here. The heat is on the back side, and we have a cooler on the back side through which all the heat is dissipating. Right. The problem is it's not upright. Oh, it's supposed, if it's this way. If it's that way, then you'll get the full heat dissipation coming through the top through the coolant system. Oh, I see. It. So it's only because, okay, so you've got to mount these exactly like It has this. to be mounted exactly horizontally like that. Okay, all right. Let me ask you something else. Uh, I've never seen a light that looked like this. Is this uh, a patent unique to you guys, or, or is, this, is this fairly common? A lot of people doing these liquid-cooled... Uh... High optics is a fixture that's unique to Flextronics. We've okay. patented the technology associated okay. with it and the cooling system that goes along with it. Okay. And, of course, there's no bulb to replace or anything of that nature like with no this. No bulbs to maintain. This, we've got these big kind of goofball bulbs. And right. Very cool. Right. So if you want to buy a big sodium light, let me know. I'll give you a hell of a deal because uh, we're putting these in. Thanks a lot. Thank you very well, much.